Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I'll step back even maybe further to give you a little more background, but I, I grew up uh, loving the movie Wall Street, mm-hmm. um, ended up being a stockbroker. Oh, wow. Um, ended up making a, a lot of money there. And uh, my first entrepreneur story is I, I saw an opportunity in 2000, and 2000, 2001, and I was at Accenture at the time. And I saw this consulting company that was doing cultural assessments, which culture was becoming a big thing. Uh, right about that time, you had Worldcon, Worldcom, Enron, some of these big companies blowing up because of their culture. So the term company culture that you hear today, that was kind of when it was being introduced on the scene? It was largely the part where there was a new business opportunity. So there's a small company in Cave Creek that had something called the Cultural Health Index, the Chi. Hmm. And uh, two uh, ladies that were business partners, I, I went to them, I said, hey, Um, don't pay me anything, pay me 25% on all my sales and give me 10% ownership for every $500,000 of your company that we, you know, that I can create. Interesting. And at the time they were only doing 250,000. So it was pretty easy decision for them to say, well, yeah, we'll do that. And, you know, within six months I'd created two and a half million dollars in revenue and owned 50% of the company (laughs) to largely have to be bought back out. And that was the start of my entrepreneur journey is, um, really, started with sales, which is, I think, the, you know, the lifeblood of, of entrepreneurship. 